India is now considered the world's most populated country, and the National Party wants to do business. Christopher Luxon says it's time to hustle for a free trade deal, and it'll be a major strategic priority if National becomes the government. Here's political reporter Kushla Norman. A hive of commerce, trade and consumption. India is the world's fifth largest economy with 1.4 billion people. Now National wants a bigger slice of the market, promising to push for a free trade deal if elected. Expect to see me there in my first year. Expect to see our foreign affairs ministers and our trade ministers uh, on the planes 365 days a year, hustling, building business for New Zealand. In 2017, India was our seventh largest export market. It's now our 21st due largely to border closures shutting out tourists and international students. India really became quite upset at New Zealand over the way it was treating Indian nationals during COVID, in particular in relation to visas, and I think India just wasn't feeling the love. New Zealand's exports, including wood, wool and fruit, are worth $854 million, while imports from India, including pharmaceuticals and machinery, are worth $1.5 billion. The thing that I'm frustrated about today is that, you know, we have Australia that it's already closed an early harvest free trade agreement. We have the UK about to close one. We have the EU about to close one as well. New Zealand started negotiations with India in 2010, but formal talks stopped in 2015. Agriculture has been a stumbling block. They want everything else, but they don't want agriculture. They don't want agriculture. It's ill-founded. Their misgivings are ill-founded. Uh, we don't have the volumes that can solve their big market. But trade isn't the only interest for India. Trading with uh, a country of 5 million people is really a rounding area from their perspective. So there has to be more to it than just uh, raw trade. And that's when things like uh, the students uh, come into it, defence arrangements, security arrangements. The government says three ministers have visited India in recent months as it looks to strengthen ties between the two countries. Kushla Norman, One News.